Again, I'm going to do the same thing because I want the YouTube commentary to be good. I'm being a little bit of a perfectionist, but let's be honest, this is literally the only thing I'm doing today. I can't exactly half ass playing a fucking video game. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Dean's Eye, thank you very much for interrupting us. So, yeah, let's just hurry on up with this mission. Let's do the kill all the things mission first, just because that's going to be a little bit more entertaining than all of the previous missions thus far, which have just been running around. Also, why haven't I just been going this way? Alright. So, yeah, this is the other comet level, which is at least thus far a little bit more difficult due to the Sonic tradition of insta kill obstacles for difficulty because the ring system is just too overpowered. Okay, we're just going to have to do it like this. Alright. Right, I got a free moment. So yeah, the look. I'm surprised that these every single fucking moment he speaks, he just has to fucking speak. I don't mind the other characters because they actually get spread out with their screen time and whatever. Like, oh yeah, I want that rocket launcher. Oh, that is a natural rocket launcher, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, Doom's Eye annoys me a lot in terms of this because... There we go, I got some rings. Come on, there we go. What? No, I want the rockets. The rockets are only really bad within the other level. Yeah. Sadly, I'm going to have to keep him there for the variety there. But yeah, with the hero missions, you can you actually get a quite a bit of variety with the people you're talking to because... Well, the Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Rouge, Amy... Even Dr. Eggman at some point, and for the evil missions, there's just Eggman and Black Doom. And well, Black Doom tends to be most of them, which is really annoying to listen to. What's going this way? Oh, just aliens attacking. Alright. Yeah, and also the aesthetic here is a lot darker than the other one than the other comet level that is something which i oh god no let's let's not jump off the edge uh let's not be a dog near fucking river <laughs> but man though this yeah you can suddenly see a lot of similarities with the level design within these sections and I like how we're supposed to be helping the aliens, but we have to kill them in order to fucking progress. Like, what sense does that bloody make? Like, of course it makes gameplay sense, but like... Yeah, gameplay sense isn't exactly the same as just cohesive story sense. Alright, yeah, that's just a portal. I literally only two parts in the game uses the war pose and it throws me off every single time. <laughs> Cause like, yeah, literally no other part of the game uses them for the player. They're just how the aliens appear. But man, where's where's the gun soldiers? Come on. Where are them gun soldiers? Re. 
Let's go complete my mission. There we go. Now I can kill things. Hooray. Oh. Yeah, they can kill things in two shots, so... This is still, like, very effective for... Right, there's the gun bits there. Yeah, we got to remember to go to the side path too. Show them all how powerless they truly are. Oh yeah, there's not really too much to talk about these missions, sadly. Because, like, most of them are fairly similar. And even then, the level design is the main difference between most Show of the them, but... Wow. We you they use the same level design for a lot of the missions because of course each level has multiple missions for the progressing system. So while it is very nice gameplay wise, I just feel like I don't really have too much to talk about during it. Also, yeah, can I can I get up there to kill them, please? Where am I supposed to get up from? This side? Or that? Okay. I will say this is like... No! Can you stop switching my weapon, you stupid... That is one thing I don't like. If you run over any of them... Then it just auto switches. That's, nope, that's a rocket launcher. Let's kill that guy. Leave the saucer there. Alright, oh, can I kill him from here? No, I can't. That's a damn shame. There we go. Is there any others around here? Uh. No. Do they really think that these machines can stop us? I mean, they seem to be able to break into your comet, mate. I think you should probably stop underestimating them at this point. Like, I'm not saying that they're going to, like, invade your fucking planet or anything, but... Yeah, they're clearly a bit more formidable than you're giving them credit for. Okay, just kill you. Just die, mate. There you go. Now where's... Oh wait, there's a flying saucer there. Why is it here? Why is it not literally anywhere else? Boom! <laughs> Also, I like how you can build up five minutes of speed with these. There's no reason why you should be able to, you just can. Okay. More health. <laughs> that was a bit... You could say that was an unnecessary risk, but... Wow, look at how much health... Damn, not here. How much health I have! Great, I've got to use the other weapons now. Yeah, to be fair, this is actually quite a bit more effective than missiles. Come on, shoot, shoot. There we go. Thank you. Right, we... Ah, oh, that's a weapon they built. They're all quite cute. Yeah, you what? They're... There's quite a bit more more items than you re than you'd initially expect within this game. Like there's an item that that fully fills up your dark gauge, no, your hero gauge, and it's just dotted about randomly in some random levels, which is really confusing. Like, why are they there? Why is there a warp? Warp across half the stage thing, right off the beaten path of the bloody Netray level, well the Eggman's database level. 
it could be like, oh yeah, if you get lost, here you go, but then, why aren't there multiple of them? Oh, second use of that, they couldn't be bothered to connect the levels. Oh, I mean, I'm just going to run, I don't really care. Also, I wonder if that shooting mechanic actually works on any other. Alright, yeah, we're just going to end up here. Now we get to kill everything. Now we got enough ammo to kill everything down this level. Let's just run and gatling everything down, shall we? This is why I find the game fun, to be fair. Well, to be honest. Because it's just a bit dumb fun, really. Because while there are some absolutely dreadful, god awful, like physical pain inducing levels, they are the vast minority. Like most of it is just run to the end, but you have weapons to allow you to run through everything. Certainly not the most challenging game in the world and for a lot of its mechanics kind of undermine its own difficulty but well not every game has to be extremely difficult like you can just look at fucking Call of Duty or whatever thank you for the extra ammo thank you for the extra achieve extra points towards my objective Okay, that... Why? Why was there that speed pad? <laughs> okay, camera. Update. I hate how the manual camera doesn't allow you to tilt up or down. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Okay, I'm just going to kill everything. If in doubt, commit murder. What great moral this game has. <laughs> ah, they switched my Gatling gun. Where? Where's my Gatling gun? Don't let it respawn. I want my fucking nearly 300 ammo. God's sake. There we go. Kill the thing. Ah, uh, but why is that platform not raising? That's why. Oh god. Thank you for the speed pad, I guess. There we go. No, give me that. Up oh, there's the platform. Alright. I like how much good MG I've accumulated throughout this level though. <laughs> that is just so stupid. You know the levels just kind of spreads out obstacles quite weirdly if you get both of the Chaos NGs throughout the level when you're doing one specific mission. I know I probably don't need the ammo, I just like having it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That poor gun soldier in the mech. Just... Just this tiny creature holding a gun twice its fucking size. Glowing red. Mo running right towards it, obliterating everything else in its path. Yeah, no, that is just absolutely terrifying of a thought. And yeah, we didn't reach the end of that, so let's go with Knuckles now. Eh, <coughs> Mitchie. Oh yeah, I'm still those streaming on Twitch, Doi, I can see it updated. Yeah, to be honest, no, I can't be bothered now. I've already murdered them in an alternate timeline, so I'm just going to 
for an Undertale. Because I can't be bothered with your shit, Black Doom. I want to go pacifist. Because I heard that's where all of the good boy gamer points come from. Okay. Uh, where can I go up from? That way. So. Cool. This is going to be the final showdown, Shadow. I'll tear yes, up it's Knuckles. My bare hands. Oh, sorry about that, Knuckles. Wait, you can hit your own partners? What? No, no. Let me, let me do that. Come on. Build up a bit of speed. No. Alright, oh, let's just actually continue with level, shall we? Nope. That's not gonna work, sadly. Oh god, we gotta slow down for this section. That was some wonky physics knuckles, seriously. No, the dog's snoring behind me. That's fucking adorable. Try going down. Alright. Yeah, that is why I love the ring dash, just working on any other set of rings. Something's under the surface. Something's Watch out for its movements. Yeah, no, things wanna fucking hentai us. Don't really care, Knuckles. But do you think Shadow cares at this point? He probably just wants those chaos emeralds at this point. He doesn't care about Black Doom's orders anymore. He done it once and he just can't be bothered to do it again. Alright. But yeah, I really like the the saucer and the high jump thing. And I guess the gun mech. Though less so with the gun mech because well we have guns already in the game. <laughs> I really like those vehicles because they actually add something onto the gameplay. Unlike the Unlike the bike and the jeeps. Like there are certain circumstances where they're quite useful. Ooh. But generally, no, there's no point. I think that's a gun battle robot. Try not to smash it up, okay? I don't know why Knuckles care so much about the gun robots. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, this direction. I don't really get why this level in particular has things. Yeah, it has the things going in the other way away from the camera. Like, wouldn't you ideally want everything visible towards the camera? It looks like we've got to go in through that warp hole. I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta get that fucking hovered hover disc. Oh hell, the hover disc. Alright, let's see. Can we speed run this section without anything trying to cause fatal damage? Yeah, we gotta hurry up before things shoot at us. It's still so fucking precarious. Yeah, this... This... To be fair, everything does genuinely feel like a war zone here. Adds quite a bit more to the atmosphere of the level because... The enemies are actually fighting each other? What? For a moment there, I got a bit worried like, wait, I can't use it on the spring? I thought I could. <laughs> Oh wait, that black slab that's moving up and down should stop for a moment. Yeah, that was literally just a fucking moment, seriously. Like yeah, it's stopping and then it raises immediately after. What 
what was the point of the shooting mechanic being added to them? Hey, it looks like you can grind on that. Yeah, now we just go run past everything. Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast before we die! Yeah, like that. Oh god. Don't go in the wrong way, please. But yeah, that is one thing I like about the adventure games of the boost games. Just there's like everything's a lot less railroaded in terms of it mechanically. Like even though yeah the level is designed for you to go that way. There is if you go on the rail it doesn't automatically send you in the correct direction. Or, you know, with the rings, you can take any ring path. And, well, yeah, that does lead to some glitchiness if you go from it from the side. Especially with the two wide ones. It's... I still appreciate the added freedom with how you can progress with the mechanics given. Like, you know, it definitely adds more incentive for the level designers to... Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, I don't really want to risk homing attacking too much. Yeah, you heard that right. Knuckles pulled someone's gun. How oh, could he? Okay, the, my saucer is almost dead. Where's the raised... Where's the raised platform? There it is. Now let's ditch this shit. Okay, and then, yeah, that's covered in alien shit. Don't know what that actually is, but I don't necessarily care. What? Wait, do I have to kill you to progress? The good guys. They were blocking my path, Knuckles. Look, the the floor magically appeared after I killed them. They're roadblocks. Which, yeah, why is a gun soldier railroading that? Wow, well, I'm, I'm never fucking happy within these levels. Like, clearly having fun, speeding through everything. Oh yeah, let's fucking ruin everything with thinking about bad. Uh. Oh, that way. Okay, there's the next section. And then we can just run under that? Yes. Cool. I just don't want to lose all my rings. Cool. We get to run away into the fucking dark gunge. And I think we've pretty much finished the level now. Oh god. Yeah, let's try not to crash into everything. There it is. The chaos emerald that those black creatures stole. There we go. Also, yeah, that the black creatures stole. Black Doom already had the fucking chaos emeralds. Do whatever you need to, Knuckles. The, my own the dickhead is here. manipulating. <sighs> like surely, if if you saw that they were keeping it within the keeping it within the actual fucking comic, he'd be like, "Wait, why do they need me to collect it for them?" Oh well, the story of this game is a mess, that's undeniable. 